So I just want to share with you then, what are some ways that you can get involved with what's taking place? So here's a few of them. Uh, there's many other ways in which to do it. And that's why I am recognizing that there is a sense of other that you can get involved with. But let me give you three uh, that usually uh, take place and uh, let's see what unfolds there. So from a writing point of view, you may uh, wanna write a tree story, a forest story. And sometimes that could be maybe 300 words, 500 words. Uh, if you start to get above 1500 words, then what we're gonna do is create the Awareness Anthology of Tree Stories and uh, be able to do through sharing the longer stories about trees and forests through this anthology. And as time goes by, let's see if that actually um, that happens. So you can send in longer ones, but shorter ones tend to go into the prompt activity book. Now, this writing can also be um, uh, personal uh, stories that come from your own experiences. Um, there are uh, foresters that are interacting and they're gonna start sharing some of their stories. Um, actually in my life, I when I first went into university, once I sort of said, well, civil engineering is not for me, I went and got a diploma in forestry because uh, you can probably guess trees and forests are of interest to me. And I thought that I would get involved with uh, forestry from that perspective. I decided not to go into it full time in terms of the silver culture and the harvesting aspects of trees and forests. I wanted to get into the forest recreation aspect of it that led me into the outdoor recreation, outdoor pursuits component of it. So there is that writing, but there may be a story from your childhood. There may be a story uh, today of a favorite tree that you want to share and taking a picture of it and putting it with the words would be a great way in which to, to share their writing. Now, also poems, um, different kinds of ways in which to write poems. I have someone who's submitted some haiku um, for um, adding to awareness to already. And so I'll be putting those in. There are other ways in which to write poems. There's long poems, short poems, uh, uh, very narrow poems, uh, poems that sort of almost look like a tree. There's all different kinds of ways in which to put poetry uh, forward. And we'll take a look at it and include it in um, Awareness 2, 3, 4, 5 as it goes along. So those are some ways about the writing. And if you have some variations of that that you want to share, there is um, a website, uh, uh, wealthmovement.com forward slash awareness. You can use the contact page uh, reference there. And there are um, uh, ways in which to go through the social media to ask me questions as well, the digital media channels, and they'll be listed in the uh, show more, uh, learn more notes, wherever you find this video. Uh, the next thing I wanted to acknowledge is drawing. Now, the drawing component, you may do hand drawings. I've got a sketchbook over here. And what I'm talking about over here, this is my creator uh, table, my uh, co-creator, eco-creator, enviral creator, whole creator table. And I have all my reference books and my sketchbooks and um, research notes and everything that I use to play with to be able to uh, bring to the foreground um, awareness and to be able to do its uh, production. It's also where I have uh, my morning coffee urn, and um, but I have my coffee mug here with me and I sip it every once in a while just to... Uh, um, enjoy the, the taste of the coffee. So uh, there's a grounding rock, everything like that. So my, my creator table is over here. So you may have something like that. And what you're doing is you're drawing, hand drawing um, trees and, and um, uh, forests. 
But some of those you may not actually color in and they could be used by taking a picture of them, sending them in. They could be used for coloring or some of your drawings, you could have it uh, presented in color uh, and then through some production magic, I can turn it into a black and white and other people can color it as a sort of, here's another look at your, uh, your hand drawing. Now, something else that I'm doing from a drawing point of view is every once in a while, I go into some of the AI world, the artificial intelligence world, and uh, play around in there and get the artificial intelligence engines to give me back pictures. Some of them are colored, some of them are not. Some of them I can put into silhouettes. And so the drawing through AI might be something that you're doing. And uh, what's actually happening now is one of my requests of, of you is other than putting in what you might see as the trees and forests and your awareness of them is that I have a project going called Celestial Dendrology. And dendrology is the study of trees. Celestial is what would trees look like and forests look like if we went to another planet. So how do we imagine these trees to look like? So I've started to play around a little bit with that and I'm starting to put some ideas out through the different uh, digital media channels that you might find and or they will be on um, wealthmovement.com forward slash awareness. Some examples will be there as well. So that's the drawing aspect of it, hand drawings. Um, you could use cube computers to create things. So I leave that with you. Now with the photography, there's all different ways in which you can use the camera uh, to go out. You can take obviously the pictures of things that you see um, that might be what you've created, I've just mentioned. But while you're walking, you might see some really fabulous images out there. And so you might have your um, small camera, you might have a more um, intense uh, um, photo, uh, camera that you have bought. Um, you may have it so that you can take videos. There's all different ways in which this photography and video can come about as well. Um, matter of fact, the other day, um, I was walking and came around a corner and a calf moose was there. Uh, I had to remember, wait a minute, there was a mother moose somewhere. Um, I happened to have my camera because I was going to take a picture of a tree against um, a little bridge. And I was getting ready, but then I saw the calf moose. So I happened to get it up, get a picture. But I'm saying on the video, um, I think I'll walk backwards out of here <laughs> because I didn't know where mum moose was at the time. And uh, the next day, the mum moose and the calf were on the, um, on the other side of the ravine that I was walking along. So it was kind of interesting is that I, um, I have these different um, videos and, and pictures. And again, some of that has gone up on the YouTube channel. Um, some of it's gone up on Twitter and different ways in which to bring it forward. And maybe you have some of those as well, those pictures, those videos. And what we can do is put them up. Now, if I get uh, swamped with uh, videos and uh, pictures, I'll be looking at what are some ways in which I can put them up, um, maybe on my website. Maybe I could take a look at if we're getting enough of it. You know those um, uh, websites where you can go to to get free and paid uh, pictures and videos. Maybe you create something like that that would be a, a value um in terms of uh, supporting you so let's sort of see what happens there uh other ways i'll just go into that is maybe you're a sculptor and there's some sculpting you want to do or woodworking or there's something about wood that you're uh, doing that you thought might be of uh, interest to someone i have i'm reaching out to someone who uses blocks of wood from a fitness point of view so I thought that I would uh, ask her if she would like to write up a short little story or shoot a video so I get her to explain the use of wood 
in fitness. Maybe you're someone who um, carves uh, wooden toys and you may like to sort of say, hey, I'd like to share a little bit about what's going on. So this is a good time to acknowledge is that one of the ways that I uh, say thank you to you is at minimum your first name and the country you come from. So Stephen, Canada. If you've got something that you would want to take people to and you want to acknowledge, I'll put up your website. So Stephen, Canada wealthmovement.com forward slash awareness. I would put that up to be able to acknowledge. But I'm not taking a look at this as a way in which to uh, sell uh, sponsorship or ad space or anything like that. Uh, what I'm doing is I, I'm just looking to involve you in ways in which to um, bring awareness and forests together and see what we might be able to do.